that's why I ask about the open marriage, because to someone like me, I think it sounds like that. Like he's allowed to try on a bunch of people, so to speak, and date. So I think a lot of people, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels to me like when people say open marriage, it's like I can go out and try on for size and have sexual relationships. Right. That but that's not the case. okay. That explain what it what is the case? Well, it's it's dating. It's it's her spending time with the family, her okay. and her kids, because she you know had the three kids from her previous marriage, um, and that's how it was when Christine and Janelle came in the family too. It's like, yeah, so they co- need to the spend, whole family. Yeah, they need to spend time just the two of them mm-hmm. to get to know each other, but they also need to spend time all together and that's what we all did got it all but with us. the intention of knowing you have to be part of this family that's part of the courting yeah. process it's not like they're going off to vegas or europe and leaving you all at home Correct. and okay got it i think people don't necessarily yeah. understand that yeah. but you guys are not allowed to date anyone the women no got it no in are our... there polygamous relationships where other men could come in how would that work <laughs> i have i've met people who have okay. yeah i've met people who have those kind of relationships Wow. But in our church, that in our, our structure, that wasn't the case. Right. Um, okay, so let's go back to the show. The show's been on for 18, am I right, 18 seasons? I think it's been that se- that many seasons, but it's actually only um, like 13 years. Right, okay. Yeah. So they the seasons, up. yeah, they doubled up seasons. So the seasons because you are so popular. Years, yeah, I guess so. How did that feel? I mean, I still think that's incredible. It's it's kind of cool. Like it's really kind of cool, actually, that America, the world, actually, like embraced us enough, right. That they're curious enough about our story, right? Yeah. In in a story that you kind of felt, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but like embarrassed that if whether or not people were going to accept you right I think that's awesome like it's I mean it's my life and it's just normal and when people see me out and about now and they're like oh my gosh it's you and I'm like yeah I'm just me like I'm just a normal person but you know but it's kind of cool that I guess I can have that kind of influence over somebody that they find me inspiring or right you know whatever Right. And also learn about what you're doing and learn Mm -hmm. about your family and learn about family dynamics through the show. I mean, I think that's why the show has done so well, because you guys are so authentic Mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem staged. It's not like the Kardashians or something where there's so much staging going on. Yeah, we've made it very like we've had, like you say, we've got this good relationship with the network and And the crew. Yeah. And the crew. Yeah. They're they're awesome. And you must trust them implicitly to know they're not going to. Yep. It's like, no, let's make sure that this is authentic and real because that's authenticity is what sells, for lack of a better word. Right. You know, like, I mean, that's when people really appreciate who you are. Yeah. Is when you're authentic. But did you think that it would last this long, the show? Um, I think it's really cool that it did. Yeah. I don't know what I thought to expect, right. <laughs> you know, but I think it's really cool that. And, and did you guys all work throughout the entire time that you had the show? Um, different ones of us, different, you know, different times. Right. Work different. And you know how people on Bravo use like the Housewives show to get themselves much bigger deals, right? Branding deals or whatever. Okay. Like, did, did that really happen with you guys? Did you guys, were you guys taught about that? I mean, I feel like now when you see everybody on Bravo, they have a book, they have a show, they have a song, <laughs> they have you know, a diaper line maybe, or something. It's maybe like, I should learn that. I don't know. Like, no, but yeah, no, that's, that's obviously that's not why you guys got into it. Right, I think that's why right. a lot of people go into those housewives show. Right. But, um, I guess my question is like, obviously you're getting an income now that was well, helping. I think, I think being in the public eye, having the show has definitely opened up opportunities. Right. Um, but for me, it's not something that I'm, I'm not going to go out and be a singer. Oh, you're not. I mean. (laughs) Breaking news. Yeah, ask him. I was singing in the car today. It's like, "Mm -mm, nope, keep your day job. Oh, my God, that's so funny. (laughs) Okay. Um, All right, so how hard was it for you to end things? I mean, first of all, the other two women ended before you, right? So did that make it easier or harder? Or That had no bearing on my decision. It didn't, okay. No, a lot of people like to project that – that was what gave me the strength Mm -hmm. (laughs) to do it. No, I've got my own strength. It comes from me, not anybody else. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, that didn't have any bearing on it. So I think people would ask you why you chose to stay so long when you had issues for yeah. so long. What I chose to stay because of my commitment level. Mm. You know, I had made this commitment and I felt like that there was value to my marriage and to my family. Yeah. And um, I, I, I wanted to make it work. Yeah. You know, I was willing to put the effort in to make it work. Obviously, there were things that we, he and I needed to work out. Yeah. And, you know, discuss. But I was willing to do that. Yeah. And so you believe in marriage. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. think you'll get married again? I hope so. So you still it. believe in it? Okay, oh, yeah, good. absolutely. Will you be in a polygamist? No. Okay. So you want one man? Yeah. Um, I always only wanted one man. Oh. <laughs> but I also don't want him to have another woman. <laughs> right. Got it. Well, that <laughs> was what clear. I was going to ask. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're, we're done with that. Yeah. Um, how do your kids uh, deal with the fame? You know, some of them are very open and welcoming to the fame and some of them want to live very private lives okay and will they follow the polygamous lifestyle at all do you think after seeing i don't think any of our children are not mm -hmm. this day okay no, i don't think what's the youngest and what's the oldest ages uh logan is 30 mm -hmm. and ariella is she must have just turned eight okay or nine maybe nine um, that's amazing. Okay. So what is your relationship with the women now? So when I see them, we have cordial conversations. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't seek them out to have a relationship. I feel like we had a lot of time mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Yeah. And, you know, in the past little bit over a year, you know, since I've separated myself Cody and I have separated and like we're done mm -hmm. um I have a lot of things that I'm working on myself mm -hmm. and I think it's really really important to be surrounded by the people that really encourage that yeah of course yeah and it's hard to get to that place yeah. is it I mean I'm just thinking first of all I've never had a friend for 30 years that I have right. like two friends that I've known for 30 years so what is that like though having these people in your life for so long and knowing that they're not the ones that you can call and talk about what's going on today. Does that hurt or are you like, no, this, I I'm compartmentalize okay with this. You are, you're okay. I'm okay with it. You know, it's, it's taken me a little bit to realize, <clears throat> sorry, it's taken me a little bit to realize and just come to the understanding that it's okay. Yeah. Sometimes people are just in your life for a season Mm -hmm. you know yeah and it's okay to let things go if if the relationship is not reciprocal and it's not building me up or building them up it's okay to not force it right and that you know that goes for him that goes for any of my sister wives that goes for anybody in my life right you know like it's it's taken me a minute to to realize that that's okay right i think for a lot of years i was like wait a second we're family mm. we need to we need to really stick together you're loyal to a I, fault yeah, almost, yeah yeah but then i also look at my own family that i came from yeah and i've got some siblings that i talk to every day sometimes i have siblings that i talk to every week and some i talk to at funerals and weddings right you know what i mean yeah of course and that's okay so i had a question from watching some stuff back recently um it seems like janelle and christine are still very close and they are not as close to you right. or Robin. Right. Why is that? Is it, did something happen, or that's just you know naturally? What? I think it's awesome that Janelle and Christine are close. They were not when we were all together. Mm -hmm. They were not for you know all all those years. Um, so whatever has made them close like that now, I think it's great. Okay. Yeah. And Robin looked like she was so broken mm -hmm. in this last season. I guess every time somebody else would drop off or yeah. leave. Um, and my, I guess my question is, is do you, she seemed so brokenhearted that it was all yeah. ending. Was that real? I mean, it seemed real, but I have no idea. I think it was real. Yeah. So she really yeah. wanted that, yeah. that I closeness. Think so. Even though I, they seem like they're in a monogamous relationship or whatever, just the two of them. They are. Oh, they are. Okay. 
Cody and Robin? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But does that mean that they will never add another person to it? Or that just means for the moment they're Oh, I highly doubt they will. I, I would be shocked. No. No. He's not getting No. I've heard him say it. <laughs> like, oh, no. wow. Okay. I highly doubt that that would ever happen. I think they are very happy together and... They found their one for the rest yeah. of their life. Okay. Yeah. 